Iguana. All right, everyone, I'm talking to my good friend Sage Rosenfels. You might remember him. From the Texans, let me see, the Vikings, the Giants. Redskins. Okay, Redskins. Dolphins. Dolphins, okay. Texans. Texans, jeez. Vikings. Vikings, see? Giants. Giants, okay, I got I was a Giants for your last team. All right, so Sage, you and I were talking off camera here about how tough this matchup is, what, is to call. Yeah. Um, to me, what will win it for either team? What's, what's it going to get to? If the Niners are going to win it, Sage, how do they win it? The Niners are going to win it because they somehow found a way to slow down this offense of Kansas City. If the Chiefs win it, it's because they stopped the run and forced San Francisco to get in third and long situations, of which that's where that, this offense really struggles, are the third and longs. Because the offensive line is the smallest in the NFL. They struggle with straight drop back pass protection. They do great with the boots. They do great with the play action. Three-step drop, get the ball out. So if Jimmy Garoppolo has to hand the football for three or four seconds, that's where Kansas City will then have an advantage. So, But if, if San Francisco can run the football, not only will their offense score more points to be better, but obviously that keeps Kansas City and Pat Mahomes off the field with their offense. All right, speaking of that, how in the world is Robert Sala, the defense coordinator for the Niners, with his wide nine, how is he going to handle the speed of the Chiefs? That's a good question. You know, there's only so many things you can do defensively to stop a team that has a whole bunch of weapons. I mean, you can double team Tyreek Hill, and you can't double team them all. You usually only can double team one, maybe two guys. That's the whole thing with the magic of the Chiefs is they have so many various weapons, and they're guys with extreme speed. So it's gonna be a really interesting matchup. What blows my mind about San Francisco's pass defense this year, they're number one in the league in pass defense, 169 yards a game. They also won 13 regular season games, which means they're up a lot of games, 10 points, 17 points in the fourth quarter. Most teams give up yards during that time. A quarterback will throw up 100 yards in the fourth quarter because they're in two-minute offense, they're behind, defense is a little bit softer. San Francisco didn't do that. So that, you know, that defensive line, to me, that's the key uh, uh, to the San Francisco defense. It all starts with the D-line. If they're not getting pass rush, I can see the secondary getting a little exposed with these wide receivers and, and, and Travis Kelsey at tight end. But the neat thing about Andy Reid's offense, people talk about Andy Reid's a great offensive mind. He is, but he's a great offensive line coach. And you have a great offensive line year in, year out. The quarterbacks just happen to always play a little bit better. And that's what Andy's quarterbacks have done, you know, for the most part of his coaching career. Who are you picking? Uh, San Francisco <laughs> with my heart because my connection to Shanahan okay. and basically about three quarters of that coaching staff. Okay. Uh, but I, I, I don't see how they slow down Kansas City. I mean, oh, so you think it's going to be a tight game? When I, my, my mind says, when I saw Kansas City score 51 points in three quarters, <laughs> I thought to myself, I don't know how a team can stop them. I think they're going to score 30 points, and I don't know if San Francisco can, can score 30 points. All right, Sage so, Roosevelt. It should be an interesting game. All right, thank you.